In this quick tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a if and else statement using VBScript. So we're going to go ahead and go over this simple script here line by line. There's not a whole lot to it, just to make it as easy as possible to get the concept down. So the first line here, option explicit, forces you to declare variables. On error resume next is useful for when you're actually finished and you're completed the script and you're putting the script into production um, just w as you're testing and developing and evaluating the script you should probably have it turned off um, because you want to see those errors when they do occur and then here what we're doing here is we're declaring variables we're declaring three of them a b and c and then down here we're assigning each one of these variables a different number a gets is getting the uh, number two, B is three, and so on. Now to actually get to the if then else statement that we have here, we have if A plus B equals C, then, and then this line right here, W script dot echo, it spits out this text string here that says A plus B equals, and then this variable right here, C, will display the uh, the number or value that is assigned to the variable C. Now this will only display if this is true. If this is not true, it will do this next statement here which tells us A plus B does not equal whatever value C has. And then end if actually ends the if then else statement. Now let's take a look at what the code actually looks like when you actually execute it. So here is the script right here. Just go ahead and run it. And right here it tells us based off of what we currently have here, what we currently have these values set to, that a plus b equals 5. So it's actually using this statement right here because that is currently what's true. If we click OK here and we go in here and we change this value to something like 13 and then we click save on that and now if we try to execute the script you'll see that we get a different result A plus B does not equal 5 so now you can see how that kind of plays into account depending on uh, what you have these values set to you'll get either this as a result or you'll get this as a result and that's pretty much it thanks for watching